All right, today we're going to be taking a look at Sandland, not Sandland project as a whole, but specifically Sandland the game, um, because it is more than just a game. Uh, in order to understand where it, what it is, you kind of have to know what it came from. It was a manga that was um, made by Akira Toriyama, the very famous artist done a bunch of games, he's done Dragon Quest, um, Dragon Ball, obviously, which is what he's famous for, but he also did this smaller manga called Sandland, and it came out in 2000. Better to hear from them exactly what it is than for me, I guess. It's a popular manga created by Akira Toriyama, the author of Dragon Ball and Dr. Slump. Don't really know what Dr. Slump is, but um, that's my bad. Serialized intensively for a short period in Weekly Shonen Jump in 2000. So yeah, uh, we're going to be taking a look at um, the trailer a bit later, kind of breaking it down, looking into it. So if that's what you're interested in, that'll be happening in a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's um, set in a desert world where both demons and humans suffer from extreme water shortage. Beelzebub, which is the main character of Sandland, the Prince of Demons, and Rao, a small town sheriff, from form a ragtag team. So that's kind of the background on what it is. They're also doing a uh, an anime movie. It looks like. Um, kind of get a short look at that, just to get an idea of what that looks like. Um, Actually, it looks pretty cool. It's 3D CG, though, so that's always a bit rough, in my opinion. I would prefer they didn't do it in that, uh, but it looks like that's what it's going to be. But it looks better than things I've seen in the past, and the anime movie is actually being done by um, Sunrise, who you might know from massive anime, <laughs> uh, going back to the 90s. Cowboy Bebop, for example. Um, so there you go. But yeah, we're we're gonna focus a bit more on the the game. But first, we're gonna take a look at a couple pages of the manga just to get an idea of where this came from. Um, so here's a couple pages from the manga, just so you can know what it looks like. I'm not gonna go through the entire thing, obviously. Um, but it looks cool. It's very well done art. Of course, it's Akira Toriyama, so you kind of expect that. But it already looks really cool. Here is the game itself and what it's going to look like. Um, it's going to be a RPG, so that's the genre we're working with. But it's not your traditional turn-based kind of RPG. It is more of an open-world sort of... Um, vehicle game. <laughs> I don't even... It's like an action RPG, but with vehicles. I uh, kind of think Metal Max, I guess, in some ways. Um, only a demon can save the world. So it's coming to PS5, Xbox, PS4, and PC. Take a look at some of the key features. It is um, unique art style, which you've already seen. Um, let's get a look, a closer look at this the video here so that's kind of what the the game is gonna look like probably one, one of the cutscenes in the game um, adventure beyond the dunes so you're traveling through sandland and its cavern uh, canyons unveiling its secrets um, and all of that and here are the vehicles that I was talking about before um, get a better look at those so you can see it's there's a lot of different vehicles. It's not just the one vehicle, the tank that you saw. Um, that's going to be a big one, but there's also, you know, these sort of mech things, which is cool. I personally love mechs um, in games. I've had a couple of those recently. Here is a better look at the main character. Um, there's also the motorcycle. Looks like there's a hovercraft. There's dinosaurs coming to bite you in the face. <laughs> so there's a lot to it. It's not just going to be, you know, 
you running around in a tank in an empty area, um, you're actually going to be moving around shooting a bunch of things. <laughs> Develop the base camp in the city of Spino. Uh, Spino? Spino? As you build relationships with its inhabitants, watch the town and its capabilities grow. So it's also a town builder, apparently. That's pretty cool. Uh, always into town builder inside of JRPGs. Looks like you can actually um, change the layout of your room or something as well. So, not sure how far they're going to go with the town building aspect of it, but it sounds like it's going to be a pretty big, big part. Talked about taking um, materials and bringing them back to your to your town. So, here are all the pre-order options. Um, so, now we're going to be taking a look at the actual trailer, breaking it down. I think this is the most recent trailer. Um, yeah, and let's just get a look at what that's like so you can see what the game actually plays like what the heck is this the site of the great aquanium explosion and the one who pulled the trigger on that bomb was the commander of the royal army tank corps me we can't let it cause yet another tragedy So here we're getting introduced to a couple of the characters. Hi, man. I happen to be an ace mechanic. Are you guys looking for the legendary spring? If Aquanium is involved, this is a national emergency. It's getting dangerous and fun. A spectacle indeed. Magnificent. The sheer scale of it makes you feel like less than nothing. You can see there's a bunch of different uh, kinds of areas if we... Uh, take a look back at here we have um all of these different open areas there's more of a patch of green uh there's this area with kind of ruins of old electrical towers and stuff a dinosaur um that open kind of mountainy canyon area with the town in it and even a cave of some sort so it's not just going to be the the desert like uh, Mad Max style or whatever. It's actually going to be a couple of different Comparison. zones. There we have the tanks, the vehicles. That's going to be a big part of the game, obviously. But the important thing is that it looks like it actually might play well. Um which is huge. <laughs> they could have easily just pumped out, you know, a mediocre um, vehicle thing, not really care too much about it. But it actually looks like they put a good amount of work into making it play well. Let me see the destruction and the date. So it looks like it is coming out April 26, 2024 on all of these different platforms. Um, and that's kind of the how the trailer goes. There's not a ton to it um, that they've shown yet. They've just shown like little snippets of what it's, what it's going to be like. But I think it's more than enough. Uh, personally, I don't want a, a spoiler rail pretty much, right? Um, you get an idea of what the the vehicle combat's like, so what the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is going to be like. You get an idea of the background of the story and all that stuff. Um, so I think it's probably good as it is, personally. I wouldn't want too much more than that in a trailer. Um, oh yeah, it's Sandland. Looks good. Looks like something I'd be interested in. There aren't too many of these um, more open-world uh, vehicle games um that are really done well so i'm really curious to see how they're gonna do it and see if they can pull it off um but so far looking good like i said it is coming out 
for um, PS5, Xbox, PS4, PC. That's going to be in April. So we'll see how it goes.